I think I, I, I can't exactly remember what date, but I tried sushi. I think it's last year or in 2020 somehow I tried sushi after um, like so many. Uh, I have never tried actually. So that was like the first time I tried sushi. Um, actually, I didn't like the taste because it was so sour. It all were, it's it's it, uh, it all so content with some um, fresh uh, fish, I guess. Things have changed Change. since then. Things have changed since then. Results are expressed as a national ranking.
Improving the public education system will help the country compete in global markets. Improving the public education system will help the country compete in global markets. Improving the public education system will help the country compete in global markets. Oil starts smoking before boiling at a temperature that's higher than the boiling temperature of water. The supervisor asked two employees to switch their work schedules. The supervisor asked two employees to switch their work schedules. The supervisor asked two employees to switch their work schedules. They are also distinguished from plants by the lack of rigid cell walls. Producers use cost of production as a baseline for pricing their products. Producers use cost of production as a baseline for pricing their products. Producers use cost of production as a baseline for pricing their products. They also excelled in philosophy, science, theology, and medicine. They can also offer in-store baking and basic cake decoration.
They can also offer in-store baking and basic cake decoration. They can also offer in-store baking and basic cake decoration. It is located in the southern part of the Scandinavian peninsula. She loved to fix in cars. She loved to fix in cars. She loved to fix in cars. Performing arts are also supported by workers in related fields such as songwriting and stagecraft.
It was great. I loved my program and I learned a lot. At the time, it was one of the top programs in the country for history. And it had a good reputation overall. Yeah, it was definitely challenging. But that's what I wanted. I didn't want an easy program where I wouldn't learn anything new. They were great. They're all really experienced and they know their stuff. And they're always willing to help students out.
What do you do to make a good first impression on people? What do you do to make a good first impression on people? What do you do to make a good first impression on people? Um, so first of all, when I see someone, I always try to make a good impression on them because uh, it's something they see at uh, see on people at first. So at first, I always uh, like to make eye contact uh, because uh, it shows them that this person is um, focusing on them and then uh, like their attention, uh, they have the like such a good attention on them. And also, we should use our positive body language. Um, like like uh, when standing, smiling, and maybe a handshake, maybe offering handshake or something. And also, I sh we should like be mindful of our body language and also our posture. And also, I would say our language. Like when speaking, we should always mind our language, and also like use good words when speaking. Also, you should like uh, be active, listen to other people. When someone is speaking or someone is doing a presentation, we should always listen to them. So that would make our like um, a good impression on um, on them. Also, dress appropriately. Also, when going to an interview or something, um, we should always dress appropriately to this specific occasion to um, show some respect. Uh, yeah. You should like always plan ahead when meeting someone and also, yep, then you can make a good impression on them. Um, this looks like a rural environment and also I can see that there is a huge train, huge train which is red and grey in colour. There are also two people who are trying to fix the rain. I think this train is broken or something because it's real, uh, like on the railway. And these two people are wearing that um, their job outfit um, with like orange color and orange co orange color strips and black color strips. Uh, also, these two people are wearing some kind of a hat. And um, I think they are trying their best to uh, fix this train. Also, some, I can see a leg or something and also I can see a person is under the train and trying to fix the bottom of the train line. Um, also, I can see some trees and a uh, beautiful sky. Um, it looks like winter time, I, I guess, because I, I can't see uh, the leaves of the uh, trees. It has like fallen off and I only can see the, like the stems and branches of the tree. Yep, this looks like a huge train. As you can see, um, this one is like too long. Also, there is some kind of a hill um, right uh, beside the uh, train. Um, so, a movie I watched is like, I always um, try watching like high school teen movies because those are actually so much fun. Um, I watched High School Musical, uh, I think yesterday. Uh, it was actually so charismatic and so um, beautiful and attractive because, and also that movie is actually so fun. Uh, I always laugh when watching that. Um, and also, I watched some kind of movie, uh, Yesterday I Love Fairies. Uh, so it's about like this um, boy who decides to skip school and embark on like adventurous day. He always skips school and always trying to um, make his day adventurous uh, with his friends. So like throughout the day, like they have like these adventures when they're trying to like avoid being caught by the school principal. It's actually so fun because I prefer watching this movie to relax because it's actually light-hearted and humorous nature it has a humorous nature which allows me to escape from stress and simply enjoy the entertaining and also it's kind of nostalgic a portrayal of high school life
yeah because also it contains such good uh, elements and also it captures the essence of like youth friendship and uh, aspects of everything of high school
Um, so I think I, I, I can't exactly remember what date, but I tried sushi. I think it's last year or in 2020 somehow I tried sushi after um, like so many. Uh, I have never tried actually. So that was like the first time I tried sushi. Um, actually, I didn't like the taste because it was so sour. It always it's it's it, uh, it all so contained with some um, fresh uh, fish, I guess. Um, it was actually so delicious to people in uh, Japan, China. People also, it is actually I think invented in Japan. So people in Japan always like to eat sushi. Um, so in high school, I had uh, in food and nutrition, I had to make sushi with people, and we made and also we uh, we tasted them. It actually tasted so sour and also tasted like raw fish. Um, the ex uh, the experience was actually I love the experience because um, I mean every everyone loves the experience of trying a new food uh, in my opinion. So. Yeah, I kind of loved it, but not really because of the bitterness and sourness. Uh, there are like so many street shops in uh, Japan. Um, in those shops, they always sell sushi and all all the different kinds of food they like to eat. Um, also, I visited Japan in like 2019. Uh, all I saw was people eating sushi in like streets and um, everything. Um, Yeah, so I uh, when I uh, when I uh, visited Japan, I also wanted to try sushi and all the other unique uh, foods which are like only in Japan. But I didn't because I'm not sure what they contain, and also maybe I may be allergic to them, so I didn't. So somehow after making um this sushi in my school, I decided to try it, and yeah, as I said, it was actually some kind of sour, so I didn't really like the experience. But I appreciate it because they have their own taste. The Japanese uh, people, when they uh, eat sushi, they have their own um, like own taste and all their cu own culture. So I respect that. So I think they like the taste of like raw meat and the sourness of the um, this container like specific uh, sushi. As someone who loves sweet and be uh, like salt, it was really not my taste. It was not my thing. <laughs>